Hi, how's it going? It's India here to talk to you today about self-preservation, self-worth, and how to keep it going during the holidays. So right now we've got a lot of people traveling, people coming in, people getting on the road to see loved ones, and you're going to have different interactions with family members, friends, and more. And so how do you balance interactions with various people, but then yet knowing that you're going to have a couple of people that aren't as pleasant as others, we'll leave it at that, and some that just don't know how to treat you. So first things first, whenever you're establishing your self-preservation, you need to make sure that you establish boundaries with people so that people don't think that they can um, run the carpet with you and, and, and treat you any kind of way that they want to treat you. Secondly, um, make sure that when you are um, keeping your self-worth that you are creating healthy boundaries of time limits as to when you are available for, you know, hanging out or, you know, uh, going places and whatnot. And when you are not, there's nothing wrong with saying yes to yourself. So many times the problem is we don't say yes to ourselves enough. And so whether that's emotionally, spiritually, financially, and sometimes during the holidays, people want to manipulate you into thinking that you have to do something for them or else, you know, their world is going to fall apart. So I want to definitely ensure that you guys also understand that saying yes to yourself um, will mean you're going to have to say no to some people, um, even family members that you love. And, you know, finding a way to be clever about doing that, especially around the holidays when people are, you know, gift shopping and, and buying presents and you know, trying to please everyone, you're going to have to learn how to say no. Thirdly, make sure that um, if you're interacting with people, that you're cutting off anyone or detoxing yourself of anyone that doesn't see your value and doesn't see your worth. You can't convince people uh, to value you. You can't convince anyone to love you. You can't convince anyone to treat you the way you know you deserve to be treated. So hence, if you're in a situation and people are um, mopping the floor with your emotions and they're playing games, it's your right to establish boundaries, uh, detox, cut them off if you need to, do whatever you need to do because you you deserve to be treated with the utmost respect, especially if all you have done is given them respect in return. So... With that said, make sure that you are being introspective with that and going through each relationship one at a time and finding out which people really deserve to have your company, really deserve to be in your life. And if they don't, then you know what to do. You know how to get rid of them and you know how to, um, whether it's block them or just tell them like, look, I can't, I can't afford to have you, um, you know, in this season right now. And let them know, you know, hey, I'm just going through some things personally and I need a break. And they're going to have to respect that. I mean, what are they going to do? Uh, you know, take your wrist and bend it and try to force you to be a part of the life? Well, of course not. So with that said, I want you guys to really think about self-preservation in this holiday season. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have all the answers. And you don't have to allow people to mistreat you, especially when you've done nothing but love them and give them your best. So with that said, I hope that you're able to take these nuggets and to tie them towards self-preservation. Put yourself first. Love yourself this holiday season. Refuse to take any type of mistreatment from anyone. Take care. Happy holidays.